England. <laughs> oh, I'm Tennessee. I'm a country music singer all the way from Nashville, and I am just thrilled to welcome you to me. You know, I have so much to share with you about my beautiful life. So why don't y'all just tag along? Come on, let me help you out there, darling. Yeah. Woo! I'm Tennessee, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. She's got more hair than Dolly Parton, more cleavage than Katie Lang, and more balls than Johnny Cash. Yes, she's Tina C, Nashville's number one cowgirl. I'll conquer this land and claim it for country. I'm Tennessee, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Ricky and Oprah learned their people skills from me. I'm authentically southern as a deep fat fryer. I get closer to God as my hair gets higher in Tennessee. And I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Is Author of such country classics as No Dick Is As Hard As My Life, Tina's bringing her well, golden shower of hits to Great Britain for the first time. So if you like what you see, come on and buy my CD. I'm A lot of your songs are autobiographical. Tell me about the early years. Well, you know, strangely, I owe my success to an unhappy marriage. I know it's kind of weird, isn't it? My, my analyst, she tells me that the fact that we were both 13 years old, that might have been something to do with why it was not a success. And uh, I think the fact that we were cousins, that didn't help neither. But let me tell you, it was a complicated relationship. I mean, yeah, he beat me, okay? He beat me, but then I beat him harder. So where does that leave you? You know, I left him. I took only my guitar. And I got into the car and I drove. I determined I was going to drive until I was dead or until I reached Nashville. Well, 20 minutes later, I arrived in Nashville and I started work on becoming the woman that you see before you today. <laughs> if you cheat on me, there's two things I could do. I'll either divorce you I'll either divorce you or I'll shoot you. Good. Well, you know, I always say that I am proud to be white trash. Okay? You know, I was born and raised with my 17 brothers and sisters in a place called Open Throat Holler, Tennessee. I don't know if you know that. Have you been there? No? It's, it's kind of big. It, it, it's just down the valley from a place called Pocket Hole Holler, Tennessee. No, I'm saying that that means nothing to you neither. Oh, well. I'm proud of my family, and of course, I use them in my songs, okay? All kinds of songs I write about my mama, and I wrote a song, you probably don't know it, but it was a big country hit called, I Called My Granddaddy Grandpa, But I Should Have Called Him Dad. <laughs> I got a little bit of flame. <coughs> Him. You know, I would complain to my mama. I said, Mama, life is so hard. And she said, Tina, you should learn to enjoy it when it's hard. And I wrote about that in a song called Hard Times. But my mama never was wrong. She said, things don't stay hard for long. I woke up, it was hard every day. Woke up, it was hard every day. Woke up, it was hard every day. Till y'all see. Hey, Chris, can, I, can we just stop it there, darling? I'm, I'm just a little bit worried. I ain't just like not trusting your judgment here, but I just think that I need more XLR in my compressor, okay? I think my reverb is too toppy, okay? And I don't think that my EQ has enough dynamic presence, okay? Could you okay. just sort that? Bless you, darling. That's just great. Thank you. <laughs> I just love it here. I love all the English people. They're so small and they got such funny accents and little gray teeth. I'm a country music singer. Sorry? I'm a I sing country music. You understand? Guitar, cowboy. Yeah, yeah. 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 That kind of stuff. Yeah. Where are you? Know you? <laughs> you know what we do in Nashville? We always have country love, okay? And when we see folks, we just like giving big country yeah. love. <laughs> And we just go, yeehaw, okay, and they're pretty. <laughs> God, you know, this is even bigger than Graceland's. <laughs> That's great. Your first Nashville album, It Ain't Easy Being Easy, 
sold over three million copies, but feminists accused you of being a bimbo. Yeah, well, I, I don't really want to go there, okay? That's kind of dwelling on the negative. And you know what I say? Sticks and stones smash mobile homes, but names mean someone has noticed you. Yeah, but take, for example, a hick with a hickey, but Lord, ain't she pretty? If you insist on dwelling on this, okay, I will tell you, okay? That had bad press, all right? You know, sounds like loose morals, tight ass. People got kind of upset about that, all right? But all I'm saying is that I changed. I got my wake-up call, okay? And I listened to the greatest feminist of the 20th century, that great woman, Tammy Wynette. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman. Giving all your love to just one man. He'll have good times, y'all have bad times. Doing things that you don't understand. And uh, what I do in times of trouble, I just listen to Tammy because you know what she said? She said, if you love him, be proud of him. Because after all, he's just a man. Do you think it's easier being a woman in country today than in Tammy's time? Well, <laughs> you know what, Doron? I think we talked enough about politics, don't you? Tell us about your new diet video. I got a new diet video out at the moment, and it involves no exercise at all. All you do is just listen to my beautiful, tragic country music song, Get Unhappy and Lose Weight. Brothers and sisters, are your souls happy because your bodies are too weighty? Well, just follow my diet, cry yourself thin, lose weight through being unhappy. I'd rather be thin and unhappy than fat and in love. Contentment makes you greedy. Stay home and stuff yourself. Being lonely makes me nervy, but nervy keeps me skinny. You can keep partners and your TV dinners, your double dates with the chocolate cake. I'm undersexed and I'm over anxious, but at least I'm underweight. I'm undersexed and I'm over anxious, but at least I'm underweight. Five, six, seven, eight. Come on, stop smiling there. <laughs> Hey, you're looking too happy. Get unhappy. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, next question. So call now for Tina's exclusive greatest hits collection, Complete and Utter Country, including such classics as Of Course I Love You for Your Body, I've Got a Mind of My Own, You Can Break My Heart But Don't Break My Hair, and of course, I'm Not Pate, I Don't Spread. So call now. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did. I gotta get off back to Nashville now, but if you're ever in the neighborhood, you look me up, you hear? And remember, I love you. Bye now. <laughs> Taxi. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's kinda lucky. <laughs> Come on, just drive. Yeah.